Okay guys, so we are doing something a little different. I am doing a traditional style unboxing video for the Eye Care by E-Leaf today. And I'm going to be doing unboxing videos like this for about two weeks. And I hope you guys don't really mind. If you don't follow me on Snapchat or Twitter, then you wouldn't know why I am not on camera. So I'll just tell you now, I had an accident last weekend and I busted up my face pretty badly. So I don't feel comfortable being on camera while I look like a zombie for real so if you want to see what my face looks like right now you can check me out on Twitter or or snapchat and you can see it there but I am just going to do unboxing videos for now and then when my face is healed I'm gonna come back and do full videos on everything I look at I have a couple new products and I didn't want to leave you guys with no videos for you know a couple weeks so I decided I'll do these unboxing videos and I I hope you don't run away from my channel, but I will be back to normal videos at least I'm hoping by the 1st of November. So the first unboxing video we are going to do is the Eye Care by E-Leaf and I was so excited to get this. So here is the box it comes in and it's a small device so you guys know I am so excited. And I'm gonna have some struggling times to get this open because I have no nails anymore. Oh, just not my month. October has not been kind to me. All right, here it is. And we're going to open it. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so little. So we'll take the device layer out and I'll show you guys what it comes with. Looks like we have the USB charger, micro USB to USB. Oh my god, these are the smallest coils I've ever seen. Check out these itty bitty coils. So it comes with two of them. Oh, they're adorable. Here is the quick start guide. So we have a little fold out quick start guide. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like prefer booklets to map sort of things. So here is the eye care. Oh my god, I love it. I've heard good things about it. Here is the tank, the viewing window. Smooth finish. There's the charge port. Meh, it's on the bottom, I don't know. Here is the mouthpiece. So this might be an automatic device. So this is an automatic vaping device and how you fill it is super easy. You pull off this top cap and you see there it says do not touch. So we're not gonna touch that. Here is the air pipe. So you use the rectangle part right here and you connect it onto this and use it to unscrew this part. But once you get it a little ways, you can just use your fingers if you want. It's easier. And you pull this out. So it does not come with a coil attached, so we'll go ahead and put in a coil on this. And then you fill down in there. And you do not want to fill past the max fill line that you can see right there on the tank. So once you have filled your device, you want to go ahead and put a coil on the bottom of the air shaft. And just spin it on like that. Your device will be filled to the max line, but not farther, otherwise you'll get some leaking. You put it back down in there, and then you can use the rectangle slot on the top cap again to secure it down, or your fingers, but it's kind of cool how they have this made for it. And you make sure that's nice and tight, and then you can go ahead and put the top cap back on. And you go ahead and give it a vape. It has an indicator light to show the battery level. So this will be green when the battery is 100% to 16%. And 15% to 6% it'll be yellow. And red when the battery is at 5%. You're going to also want to make sure you prime your coil with 2 to 3 drops before you put it in here. So that is it. I really have never done just an unboxing video like this before. So I will be coming back in a few weeks and doing a full video for this device. You can bet I'm going to use it in the meantime because it's so cute and little. I mean, look at it. Look how freaking tiny it is. So if you have anything you want to see in the full video, any concerns or anything at all, please comment below in this video and I'll be sure to address it in the full video when my face is healed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry it's not my regular video, but you don't want to see this face. If you do, check out my social media.